look Jewish noises. <laughs> One sunny afternoon in Springfield, Homer Simpson was lounging on the couch, flipping through channels when he stumbled upon a documentary about the moon landing. As he watched, he couldn't help but notice some inconsistencies in the footage. Hey Marge, this looks weird. You ever notice how the flag's waving in a vacuum? He asked. Marge, who was busy making dinner, replied, Oh, Homer, I don't think you should worry about it. But Homer's curiosity was piqued. He spent the next few days diving into conspiracy theories online, convinced he'd uncovered a massive cover-up. His enthusiasm grew, and he began telling everyone in town about his newfound discovery. One day, while at Moe's Tavern, Homer blurted out his theory, not realizing that a couple of mysterious men in suits were seated nearby. The men, working for the CIA, overheard Homer and decided to investigate. They were tasked with containing any potential leaks of sensitive information. As Homer's claims spread, the CIA grew more concerned. They tracked him to the Simpsons house, where they began monitoring his every move. Homer started noticing unusual activity around town. Black SUVs parked near his house, strangers asking questions about him, and even shadowy figures in the background of his favorite donut shop. Marge, skeptical but supportive, decided to help. She began devising clever disguises and decoys to throw the agents off Homer's trail. With Bart's help, they set up a series of traps around the house to confuse their pursuers. Lisa, using her alleged intellect, tried to gather evidence to prove that Homer's theory was flawed, hoping to convince him to drop it. Despite their efforts, the CIA agents grew increasingly determined. They finally cornered Homer in a dusty old library where he was trying to dig up old records. Using new state-of-the-art fed technology, they were able to administer a poison to Homer, left arm incapacitating him instantly. They that dragged him to their secret Springfield headquarters located behind Herman's military antique story, for Herman was secretly a fed. While their Homer was mercilessly tortured, but his resolve continued, until finally they took him to room 101 where they administered a rat helmet, he persisted. The rats in the helmet slowly and methodically devouring his face, Homer Simpson was no more. Realizing the situation was resolved, the agents returned back to their glowing CIA nigger den in Langley. They quietly erased all trace of their investigation. And so life in Springfield returned to normal except for Homer, who was now dead and never found. Someone by the name of Rabid Waffles, who I actually know about because I did a video responding to one of their videos two years back, which we will explain later. They comment, Valerie Flowers is the best YouTuber. I'm his biggest fan. He really entertains me with his videos. What a guy. Hilarious and original. Hilarious and original. Hilarious and original. Hilarious and original.